Scorpio, hi. So this is going to be a reading from May 23rd through the 29th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. Now let's see, Scorpio... Okay, the overall energy for the reading, the Ten of Cups, happiness, possibly by someone else's side. Um, in the recent past, the Nine of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups, the Eight of Swords. Oof. There was love here in a situation. There's also the sense of... I'm getting feeling alone with this Nine of Pentacles here, which is usually not that. Um, but for some reason, I'm getting that whole sense of, you know, when... Hopefully you don't know, but most of us do. Uh, when you're surrounded by people that you may love, they may love you. But sometimes you feel alone, you know, especially if you're going through something, who knows what. That happened to me as an example when I was going through loss. And even though I had friends, family around me, you know, because whoever was here was not here anymore, I kind of felt out, basically. So that kind of an example of even though you carry a lot of love here, you're showing up as I feel alone. Um, and it created a whole lot of confusion, a sense of feeling stuck. Um, we'll see. In the current situation, the Page of Swords, the Nine of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so there's something that's kind of changing here and you're not doing good with that. There's a little bit of there's a little bit of participation on your side, but overall there's a whole lot of rejection. There's a whole lot of, you know what? I want this change. I need this change. I know it's coming. I know as I feel it, it's right here possibly, but uh, I don't know. You know? So there's that little sense of kind of like it's hitting you in the face so you must know about this wave of change that's coming through and it's like no nah. yeah i want it but no nah. mm. uh, i feel like you're gonna give in eventually uh in the immediate future the queen of wands the king of swords the three of cups something's coming together in a beautiful way here um it's coming together more from a perspective of it makes sense or i know it's gonna happen um there's love here. There's passion. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Let's clarify. Let me clarify the Ten of Cups. I love watching them sleep. Right now, Kai is by my side, and I think he's having a little bit of a dream. Yeah. can't see Felix well, but he's meditating up there. And my oldest boy here, he's sleeping. Uh, for the Ten of Cups, you get, oh, and the Scorpio, Juno, is sleeping somewhere in a tree where she claimed that tree recently. Um, for the Ten of Cups, you get the Page of Wands, the Eight of Wands, the Temperance card. Yeah, you're going for it. There's something here that has the potential to bring you happiness. And it is tied up to someone else. And I feel like you're going for it. You're... At least the energy is definitely available of, yep, let's, let's try it out. Let's see where it takes us. You know, kind of a thing. And it's been there for a while, this energy. But I feel like this time around, you're probably grabbing it. Uh, so it could be something new, I don't know. New as in it's been there for a while, but it's new because now you're going for it. I don't know. Let's do that Nine of Pentacles there in the recent past. Ten of Wands, Ace of Wands, Nine of Wands. Yeah, a whole lot of difficulty here attached to this Nine of Wands, right? That that sense of which usually the Nine of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, not not of Wands, of Pentacles, comes in with um, a sense of you know finding yourself, being grounded, being stable, being like I got this. 
uh, this time around it feels heavy. It feels like, yeah, I'm on my own, but it sucks, you know, kind of a thing. Um, and I feel like you want to do something about it, but for some reason I don't see you necessarily either knowing what to do or just kind of settling in this place of, man, it sucks. It's, it's just hard. It's just, I'll just sit here with this one, you know? I don't know. Let's do the Queen of Cups. In the recent past. We get the Fool, the Tower, the Six of Swords. Hmm. Yeah. You left. You left the situation here. Uh, I don't even feel like you left willingly. Not, not that someone, you know, tied you up and said, Scorpio, come on. Uh, it almost feels like you were pushed out of the situation that you were dealing with here. Kind of like you didn't have a choice. It's like, if it were up to me, I wouldn't do this because there's still a whole lot of love here attached to you and to whatever or whoever you were dealing with. Um, a whole lot of, I want to take a chance here. I want to go for this. I'm fully open. But something happened that just kind of pushed you away by the looks of it. I don't know, slowly but surely I see you kind of going in the opposite direction there. Let's do the uh, Eight of Swords in the recent past. The Page of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords. Eventually you learned a lot from this separation or whatever this was to you. Because um, uh, I, I see you being pushed away and then you fall into this pit of blah, going nuts about what's happening and not understanding and why is this happening? Blah, 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 and then kind of picking yourself up and being like, okay, score, get it together. You know, let's, let's pull ourselves up. And you did. You're going from the page to the night there. Really took your time with it, but it is what it is. You know, nobody's rushing you here through your process. But it's all tied up to the ending of something that you're showing me growth. You know, because of how things happen, you actually learned a lot from that and through that. Let's do the page of swords in the current situation. <clears throat> Two of Swords, the Sun, the Five of Swords. Well, you want happiness, um, but you're not doing anything about it. And isn't that a little deceiving, self, self-deceptive there? You know? Um, you're showing me I want happiness. I'm going for it. I don't know where it is. I'm going to look for it. And then you're showing me, I have no idea where the fuck to start. I, I don't know what to do. Uh, 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 what was I looking for? You know? Um, and you know what you're looking for. And you know, hopefully by now, that you create your own happiness. You know? Because you're not... You're going in that direction. You are making some moves, some steps. But it's not fully trusting and believing that, yeah, I create my own happiness. You know, because otherwise this energy wouldn't even be here if you fully believe that. Um, let's do the Nine of Wands. In the current situation. The Judgment card, the Four of Wands, the Two of Pentacles. Hmm. It almost feels like you want happiness, but happiness only comes to you through another person. And if this other person is not here, then you're not happy. If that's the case, Scorpio, you and I need to talk. Because I know you know that's not true. You know? I know you know, you know? Uh, you're sh almost showing me like, you know what? I miss that sense of commitment. I miss that sense of having someone by my side and all of that. And, you know, relying on them, them relying on me and all of that jazz. Um... Okay, but are you mistaking that with your own happiness that you can create for you? Because it feels like that's why you're not chasing happiness, because nobody's here to give it to you. Well, nobody has to be. It's only you. You and you. Let's see how you make happiness. Let's see how you create. You know? It's not, happiness is not tied up to another person. Um, that's why I kind of see you a little bit on that 
edge of yeah you know what um, i miss someone by my side and then and then it's all right next to where you're looking for happiness but not really you know because you're probably looking in the wrong place there it's not in a person if it isn't a person the only person that it's in is you yeah stretchy stretch let's do the wheel of fortune four of swords the strength card the world card all right, there's some cycles ending. There's some things that finally fell into place. It feels like things, um, you may have dealt with energies here for a very long time, but you never really took action to, to let them fall into place, to actually follow through with the energies that were at play. There's some cycles that have closed. There's some healing that needed to be done. There were some changes along the way that you, kind of pushed against and all of those things um you're kind of showing me a wrap up a all right i'm at the end of this chapter finally you know um even though this chapter has been waiting for you to align with it for a while which is okay again to each their own you've got your own rhythm your own trust me when change hits me i'm a fixed sign like you i, I no it can't be the best change in the world i'm like give me a minute what are you doing, change? Not like that, you know? So, no. So, I'm glad you finally aligned with it, though, um, in this whole, it's a wrap, you know, kind of a thing. Because um, definitely it was a long cycle here for you to close. Let's do the Queen of Wands in the immediate future. Ooh. The Devil, the Emperor, the Eight of Cups. Ooh. What is this right here? There's some physical attraction here that's shown up that you may carry towards someone, but because it's possibly only that, you may push it away. You may be like, you know what? I've done that before. It doesn't work out. So go away. Shoot. Well, okay. I... The devil is here. I'm not going to like this energy. I'm going to be like, what the hell is going on here? Um, you, yeah. If you're bringing back the past into whatever situation you're dealing with, then whatever situation you're dealing with cannot present themselves as what it truly is. Because you already placed the past on it. So you took that lens that presented something from the past, you took it with you, you placed it on top of them. You think you're going to see what it's really about or you're going to see that through that lens? You know? Man, and I feel like a lot of people are taking that whole I've learned from my mistakes concept quite wrong. Have you? When you're bringing back the past, you know, to, to create the present, which is not only you, we all do that. You know, but in this case, there's definitely that sense of, I've been on this road before, I'm not going to do this again, bye. Uh, what if this time around is different? Let's do the King of Swords. Because it might just be. The Hierophant, the Three of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords. There's definitely a match here. I feel like this is more for friendship more than anything, but it could turn into something else. If It's kind of expanding. It's kind of growing some sort of branches into the physical attraction into a little bit of love a little bit of curiosity there are all sorts of things but for now it's kind of looking like okay i know you you know me but that's about it you know not much there is a match though even at this level and there's something quite deep about it which nobody's exploring because you know you're busy being like you know what stay away stay away because i'm attracted to you <laughs> you know or something like that uh let's do the three of cups the Ace of Cups, the Seven of Swords, the Seven of Cups. I feel like this situation keeps on popping up for you. There's someone around you that carries these energies. And I feel like you have no freaking clue who it is. Uh, they may know. They may, you know, watch readings about you and things like that. Um, but you're like, because you're, you keep walking away from it. Even when it shows up in love, you're like, hey, eh, I'll look someplace else. You know, so... Let's see what the universe has to close it off. Page of Pentacles, the World Card, the Three of Wands. 
yeah, I mean, you've learned a lot. You're definitely at a place of wrapping up a cycle. Uh, and it's been, that's, that's the thing. Cause I feel like it's been wanting to close for a while now, but the, the good part about it is that you've learned a lot from it. Even if it has extended, it's like you've gained more from it. So it wasn't a waste that, oh, I wasted time. No, you've gained a lot. Um, which is quite interesting that the universe is showing us this. So that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time.